Hi YouTube artists, Jason Tako here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Today I'm going to be reworking a painting that I had done several years ago that I wasn't too happy with. Uh, this is the painting right here. It's a small 8x10. It was actually a study for a larger painting that I had done. The, the larger painting ended up being 18 by 24 inches, but I ended up throwing it away. I reworked it a lot, wasn't happy with it. I did keep the study and because I was fairly happy with it, but I'd like to make it better. So that's what today's painting is gonna be about. You can see here the sketch that I'd done on location. This is a very rough study. I pulled over, got out of my car when I saw this scene. I set up my easel really fast. This probably represents about 10, 15 minutes of actual painting time because there's a lot of cloud cover. It was very early morning light. After about 10, 15 minutes of painting, the clouds covered up the sun and I was all, it was all over with. Also, make sure that you uh, watch this video to the end because I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the new painting when I get it completed with the study that I just showed you here, uh, telling you, you know, things that I changed, things that I learned, hopefully improvements that I made. So stick around and make sure you uh, get to the end so you can see that side-by-side -side comparison.
Okay, as promised earlier in the video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the old painting and the new painting. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Subscribing really helps me to be able to continue making these videos. Hit the like button if you find this helpful, and also leave your comments below. I love to hear what you have to say, what you would have done differently, whether you like the old painting or the new painting or what you like about each one. So the primary reason why I redid this was because of color. The colors in this painting, they're a lot more drab, they're more cool. This is supposed to be intense sunlight hitting this. I did not really achieve that in this painting. It might not look like that on your monitor, but that is what I'm seeing here as I stand in my studio and look at this. So this painting does have more intense color, which is what I was after. The reason why I painted this cooler was probably because I was painting under warm studio lights. I've switched to cool lights recently. It's made a big difference. If you're struggling with the color in your paintings and with seeing color, it may be just the type of lighting you're painting under. If you are struggling with that, let me know post it below. I'd be happy to discuss that, discuss my studio lighting in an upcoming video. Um, that's made a world of difference for me. The second thing about um, these paintings, what I changed was the composition. You can see I made the mountain a lot bigger in this one than it was in this. That's because really the whole thing is about the mountain. It's about the color of the mountain and the form of the mountain. This one, having it further back and smaller, just did not achieve what I wanted it to. So when you're about to do a painting and you're deciding on a composition, ask yourself why you're doing it. Are you doing it you know, because you want to show the mountain? Is the mountain the star of the show? If so, make it big. Don't push it back like I did here. If you want to show depth and distance, well, you might be after something like this, but that was not my objective with this painting. The other thing about um, this painting that I like better than this one is the tree. This tree here was too distracting. I didn't like how you have these strong lines going here and they just kind of slam right into this. Right here is what I wanted my focal point to be. But then you have all this open space in here and then this distraction over here. Having the dominant trees underneath the focal point, which is right around here, um, that really centers the eye in here. And to me, it's a more pleasing composition. Another important thing about this, which I did achieve in this painting, and I'm not sure if I've achieved it quite as much in this one yet, is having the trees go up into the mountain that really helps um, give it depth and distance and it also helps break up this line right here this painting is probably not done i'm probably going to put it away for about a week take it out look at it with a fresh eye and make some changes but i feel i'm at a good stopping point so let me know what you think below let me know which one you like better or what you like about each one um, i might get some good ideas to help improve this painting. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It's free, just hit that subscribe button below. You won't miss any future episodes. And give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful.